just woke up, got ready, got dressed. Finna start putting the rods on the boat, all the tackle. It rained last night, so the boat's kind of boat's a little wet, I believe. So that might be a little. That might be some fun when we're getting in there and sitting down, cause we're getting our butts all wet. But we gotta put all the tackle in, put all the rods in, and get ready to go. Ain't that bad out here. Shoot. Getting out water. Release, release. Alright. So I'll get back to y'all when we are on the water. Alright, so I'm starting out with the jerk bait. Nick's starting out with the crane bait, and I think my dad's starting out with the crane bait too. Alright, so just found this crankbait in the tree. Looks like it's a, it's a really deep diving. Probably goes about 18, 20 feet. Uh, they're just sitting in that tree and it, it's not even rusted or anything. It looks brand new. We're trying to, we still haven't caught a fish yet. We're trying to focus on some rip wrap uh, areas. Some areas that have. Oh my gosh, look what I just found. Fell off again. The button to my reel. <laughs> Anyways, we're trying to find some some riff wraps, some with a lot of depth, and we found one right now. It's just don't see any activity on it. Here you go, Nick. I'm gonna set this right over here. Bro, I can't believe it fell off again. Are you kidding me? Is that from, uh... It's that one I glued on. Is that the one from, uh... Favorite Rod? What? I got a new one. I never bought a reel from Favorite. Oh, they, they're they making that black one. Six feet. Oh, heck no. Nah. It's just not glued on good. Got number one. Mouth, dude. Let's go. That is your first small mouth. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hell yeah, dude. Mm. Look at that freaking small mouth. That's like a three three pounder. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. On the Lucky Craft jerk bait. Look at that. You got your mystery box? I don't have my mystery box with me. Oh my gosh. Can I see your players? Nick with the assist on the players. I'm surprised it hasn't flopped. You want to weigh it? Yeah. He clobbered it. Oh my god. He's. He's got it on top. Yeah. There you go. Oh my god. 47 foot water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game changer, baby. That's what just changed right there. That's a three pounder right there. Oh, look at that small mouth. Oh my gosh. Look at that small mouth. Oh my gosh. Let's 
turn the wheel on. Hey, I don't know if the plug's in. Hold on. Huh? He's way over 14. Oh my gosh, let's go. Let's go. 18 and a half. Oh my gosh. Look at that freaking fish. Look at that fish. Oh my. Let's go. Oh my gosh. You tie your, you take your jerk bait off, Nick? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Got a dirt bait pattern now, baby. Oh my god, that was my first ever smallmouth. First ever smallmouth. And that was a good one. That's probably what, three and a half, three pounds? Yeah, it's well, well, it's about three and a half, I would say. So I didn't get the hook set on because I just I wasn't expecting that. We just got to a new spot and we were basically just learning it. Let's see if I can get this. Why did it turn off? Is that button all the way down? Yeah. Does it work circulation? Let's go. First yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna retire my. It fought harder. Dude, it fought way harder. Like, does it shoot down? Right, I'm gonna retie. I'm gonna retie. <laughs> so Travis, no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Travis is the best. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna retie. I'll get back to when I'm done. All right, I don't know if y'all can see, but there's a fish in the water right here. It's really shallow. Dad's throwing jerk bait, trying to get him to bite. <laughs> it's on the verge of dying.
So we're weighing my fish right now. What's the final weight? 335. 335. I said 3.4. Bye-bye, fishy. They were, they were just cruising around. They weren't reacting to nothing. The water was still frigid cold. I think it was like 45 degrees. But when that sun came out, they started coming to the surface a little bit. What the heck? They started coming to the surface, and we could see them. But they just would not bite anything. That's tomorrow's the last day. Not even your dad. Probably. My dad didn't even catch a fish. That's how tough it was. Fast. <laughs> but um, we're gonna re-rig everything again. And just be ready for this last day. We gotta actually. We got All right, so we got the fire going now. Hang on, let's that. We gotta charge the boat up. But we're gonna cook some steaks. Got the baked potatoes going. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Do a little uh, review on how I caught my fish today. So I caught it on the my favorite balance with the Quantum Burst reel. And I caught it on this Lucky Craft jerkbait pointer that came in my uh, Mr. Tackle box. That fish, he clobbered it. I don't know if y'all can see, but on there, there's little teeth marks from where he, he had hammered it. And if you see in the video, he hit it face first because he had the front troubles in his mouth. I'm going to go back out tomorrow. I think we're going to go... Look at that spot again where we caught them. Look for a couple of different areas like that. And we're basically, gonna, I think we're going to try to find new water tomorrow so we can just have more ideas where we can fish. Which we have, where we were at, we saw fish. They weren't, they weren't active. They were just really finicky and didn't want to bite at all, which, I mean, it makes sense. The water's still below 50 degrees, so. But. Basically, that's how I caught my fish today. We're continue tomorrow fishing, and we're gonna go home tomorrow, which sucks because I like it here. This place is nice, and we're gonna have some nice steaks tonight. So I'm gonna vlog that, the steaks, and uh, basically us, us getting ready for bed. So y'all stay tuned for the rest of this video. All right, we will catch y'all back here once we get our food ready and everything ready to go. Kind of forgot to vlog our uh, dinner. But this is what we have. We have some steak, which I already said, but that's for the finished product. Had a baked potato over there. We just finished rigging up tackle for tomorrow. We kind of got a better idea of what to do. Uh, we figured out they're going to be, they, they were shallow. It was, it was really weird. They were, they, they were either up shallow or they're in about, what do you say? They were, they were suspended. That's pretty much what they were, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to show y'all what we got tied on for tomorrow. So my dad, he, He's got a weightless fluke on here. He's got a silent crankbait, jerkbait, spinnerbait, shaky head, and then uh, another jerkbait on there that's a little bit shallow. Nick over here messing with his stuff. He got a. I think. Are you going to leave the jerk, or crankbait on here? Change it probably to that translucent. Probably going to change crankbait on this, put a, put a translucent one. He's got a spinnerbait on there. He's got a. A jerk bait on this one, a white one, white jerk bait. You got a shaky head on this rod, which is up there. Then he's got another jerk bait that's chrome and black. And then what I got, which is what I tried today, is the Carolina rig with a fluke on it. I'm throwing this jerk bait a lot, probably. I got a shaky head on. I'm gonna use this natural shad color uh, Strike King lure, spinner bait, and then the Alabama rig, of course. Yo, Nick, who you singing about, bro? What? 
Who are you singing about? Nobody. I just like the song. Uh, are you sure? Uh, are you trying to know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'm getting ready for bed. I forgot to say earlier. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired. I forgot to conclude part one. We're going to start part two, which it should be a good day. We, we kind of got a pattern going, small pattern. Still got to figure them out a little bit. Hopefully we can get Texas chunks on some fish. All right, so I'll get back to y'all tomorrow morning. And hopefully, 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 we can catch some fish so we can make a good video for y'all. So y'all stay tuned for part two, and I'll get back with y'all.